Welcome to the homework for lesson 22. This is this is uh, module two of first grade. Get your name on here first. We're doing word problems, and it's always read it first, draw and label your drawing, and then write a number sentence and a statement that matches the story. And that's for every word problem. We're always going to do that. R D W. And here's a little box here that tells us the different strategies that we can use. It says, remember to draw a box around your solution in the number sentence. Okay, so we're not we got to do that too. Draw a box. All right, here's our first one. Michael and Anastasia pick 14 flowers for their mom. Michael picks six flowers. How many flowers does Anastasia pick? So Michael picks the six flowers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the ones that Michael picks, right? And there's a total of 14. So the rest of them Anastasia picks, right? So that's six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And these are the ones that Anastasia picks. All right, so we knew Michael picked six. That's his six. Plus, these we have to count, so we don't know how many. And we know there's a total of fourteen. And we figured out that Anastasia All right there's your name she picked eight you can count them eight flowers and that's just counting on Daquan bought six toy cars. He also bought some magazines. He bought 15 items in all. How many magazines did Daquan buy? Okay, so we know he bought six toy cars. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are uh, C for cars. And he bought some magazines. We don't know how many magazines, but... We know it's a total of 15 things that he has, right? So that's five, six, right? And these are, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these are magazines, and we can count those to see how many there are. There's a five group here, and there's four more, so that must be nine. And our number sentence is, we knew about these six toy cars, and we added this many more magazines, which we figured out was nine, right? And it was a total of 15. Daquan. Bought. That's the word right here nine mag uh magazines so magazines here daquan here and bought in there the words that you need to spell to write your answer and we want to put a box oh that's right i almost forgot we had to draw a box around our solution in the in the number sentence so that would be a box around the nine right here that's our solution let me go back and fix the first one i'll change this question mark here into an eight and then i can put a box around it there three henry and millie baked 18 cookies nine of the cookies were chocolate chip the rest were oatmeal how many were oatmeal? 
So we have nine cookies, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are the nine chocolate chip CC for chocolate chip. And then well, the rest are oatmeal, but there's 18 cookies, right? So that's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So those are chocolate chip, and the rest of them have to be oatmeal. Oh. So we knew about the nine chocolate chip cookies, plus these are the oatmeal cookies. We're still going to count those. And it's a total of 18. And see, what do we draw? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we need our answer statement. Nine cookies were oatmeal. Next page. Felix made eight birthday invitations with hearts. He made the rest with stars. He made 17 birthday invitations in all. How many invitations had stars? So here, okay, so eight with hearts. So I'm going to draw eight hearts. One. You don't have to draw hearts. You can just draw circles and label them H. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are heart invitations. Eight. Plus, we don't know how many of them were star invitations equals 17 invitations in all. So that's eight. The stars will need, so that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And how many stars did I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine more. Nine invitations. Had stars. Had stars. If you don't have room, just keep writing around the edge and down. Ben and Miguel are having a bowling contest. Ben wins nine times. They play 17 games in all, and there are no tied games. How many times does Miguel win? So Ben has to win nine times. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine these are ben's games that ben won that's nine and then we have to add up to 17. All right this nine plus let me move the nine over so just just so that it looks like a number sentence there that 9 plus how many more we need will be 17. So there's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And these are Miguel's wins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. And this is all we're just counting up. Every single one of these is we're, we're counting up as our strategy, drawing the pictures to figure out the missing part. <coughs> And uh, Miguel, right? There's his name right up here. Miguel won eight 
times. And then number six, our last one. Kenzie went to soccer practice 16 days this month. Only nine of her practices were on a school day. How many times did she practice on a weekend? So nine were on a school day. We'll draw those first and then we'll add some more. We don't know how many more and there'll be a total of 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these are S for school day. All right, that's nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. These are on weekends. How many weekend days were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's use the question to write our answer. She practiced on seven weekends. And you got to have this. You got to have this labeled picture or something that looks like it. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but you have to have some kind of a labeled picture and a number sentence. You gotta have that with a box around the answer that we had to solve for. And then you have to have this, your answer statement. You have to have all of those things for every single question.